Hey guys, Cherie Monique here, back with what I hope will be a very eye-opening and helpful tip. As you all may or may not know, I've been going through everything in my closets, in my bathroom, toiletry so far, purging, cleaning, and organizing. Um, I am a wig slash weave lover, so that my collection of fake hairs also, um, also hit the chopping block and got pared down quite a bit. Um, I went ahead and organized those things and stored them a couple of weeks back and now that I have gone through more of my stuff that that section of my organization my storage is finally taking shape really I know exactly what I want to do with it so I decided to go back in my closet and get this bag that had all of my wigs and remaining bulk hair so what I had in that box were actually one two three four five uh, wigs five wigs in wig boxes like this and then I had 12 individual packs of bulk hair um, and I mean the, my could my collection was a lot smaller than when I started but it was still taking up a lot of space so what I did is I actually thought hey you know what let me put these in vacuum seal bags so I got a couple of bags thinking you know we'll, we'll see how this goes and this is what happened all 12 of my packages of bulk hair fit in here quite comfortably full length and then i decided because this is going to be um in storage for a longer while and i know that i won't be wearing nikki for a while i just i decided to put her in here as well um, because this worked out so well i decided to go ahead and try this on some of my units that i've been storing in boxes and this is how that came out so for me I don't know about you, but when I collect things, I really do like keeping the original packaging. So I got all my shoes in the original box, if possible. Same thing with the wigs. Um, but I really have gotten tired of all the space that the extra packaging takes up. And I decided to compromise and get rid of the, the extra uh, packing stuff that bolts up, you know, that makes the, that gives the bag its form and its shape. And I'm actually really, really happy with this so far. Um, I basically just took out, took the wig out of the box. Actually, I filmed it so you can see this. Um, this requires you to take out the, the square part that gets structure. <laughs> I'm telling you, this whole tip video is right on time because this is my new order, my new shipment of wigs from Hair Sisters. So <laughs> yeah, not a moment too soon with this for sure. Back to the video here. Um, all right, guys. So what I do is I take the wig, uh, the wig itself out of the the plastic package. So we got this box. Toss the box. You want to keep the wig in the net that it comes in, um, and of course this ID card. And then you just put the wig and the ID card together back into the plastic bag, making sure that the ID card is again facing up. So when you're looking at your unit, you can identify exactly what it is. And you know, don't stuff, I mean, take care with putting it in there. You don't want it to get tangled or whatever. Okay, so now it's, you know, basically the box, except without the, the square rigid insert puffing it up. And, okay, and we're back. So this is maybe like a half an inch at its thickest right here. Um, I, I personally did it this way so that I could fold it and put it in my drawer just like one of my folded t-shirts or sweaters and that way i have access it's in a really great accessible place and i can switch up my wig every day if i want to without going up to the top of my closet and taking down a box and then having the box sit out somewhere and all of that bs um so yeah this is what i did with it but again sky's the limit on this one if you want you could actually do back to back um and then you know stuck eight wigs in here you can maybe even do more than that i personally just didn't want to do it because well one i don't have any more well i guess i do have more new units at this point but you get the drift so if you guys found this helpful please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this and you'd like to see more videos or maybe some of my purge slash declutter videos go ahead and subscribe so you can see them and not miss any of the future ones that are coming up again thank you so much for hanging out for watching this video i hope you guys take this and implement it in your lives and um that's all for today so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you again very soon peace